Hello, everyone. Yes. So, in today's video, we will be talking about gods and goddesses. So, right now, as you can see, I am Magwayan again. We all know about those from the Greeks, the Romans, the Hindus, the Egyptians, and even some in the Mesopotamians. But did you know that we, the sovereign people of the Philippines, especially in the Visayas Islands, we do have a fair share of mythologies. So today we will be talking about uh, the god Kaptan. So who indeed is Kaptan? Uh, there were many legends, lores, uh, accounts that tells the story of Kaptan. But mainly, Kaptan was the revered god of the pre-colonial Visayas and much probably the very famous god of the Visayas. I mean, there were uh, like main gods, like the heavenly father, father figure. In the Visayas, like Kanlaon, we also have Tungkong Langit, but in the legends that I've found, it was merely Kaptan who was there. Uh, like, again, the very revered deity. Kaptan was considered as the grandfather of the pantheons of the Visayan mythology, uh, with, together with him was actually the mother goddess Magwayan. So Kaptan was considered as the god of the heaven, which was called as Kahiluwayan. And ju just like Zeus, he was depicted as, you know, having a thunderbolt as a power. There was not known account of where did Kaptan came from, how his story began. But in the creation myth, specifically the Saiyan creation myth, uh, mm -hmm. Kaptan and Magwayen, they're there already. Uh, unlike the stories from the Greek and Egyptians, uh, like what I've read, it started with chaos, darkness. Uh, in a Visayan lore, there were nothing like that. It's just vast heavens and vast waters. That's it. There's no chaos. Uh, Kaptan and Magwayen popped out, out of nowhere, uh, making them the rulers of both heaven and the seas. With regards to the characteristics of Kaptan, uh, it was mainly depicted that Kaptan was a middle-aged man, uh, usually uh, having white hair or some black hair. Uh, that depends now on the uh, artistic uh, depiction of the artist. Also, it was said that Kaptan had a very bad temper because he was known to punish blasphemous people. If you have uh, worshipped other gods or uh, deities who are not from this you know, pantheon, he will strap you down, boy. In the creation myth as well, did you know that he killed his own grandchildren because he knew that these kiddos were, uh, you know, were about to dethrone him. So, with his might, he all his grandchildren down, especially those who wanted to take over his throne. He's really like Zeus, guys. So, uh, he's like the counterpart of these main gods of other uh, other civilizations. As Batala in the Tagalogs and here in the Visayas, we have Kaptan. So, Kaptan was known to have created many deities. Uh, it was not said that he gave birth, it was in his lineage, but he just created them. To not be confused with Kaptan or Makaptan, because some uh, interpretations that Kaptan is the same entity as Makaptan, which is actually not, because... Uh, Makaptan is the god of the earth, meaning he's the 
entity of the Middle Earth, and he is also the god uh, who brought sickness. And Kaptan is the supreme god of the Visayas, and this is I am partaking actually to the Central Visayas. So, with regards to that, Kaptan is not actually the same entity as Makaptan. With the lures and legends of Kaptan, you can actually find some in the internet. Um, I would suggest you go to Aswang Project because they had a breakdown of many sources of the Visayan mythology and they also have um, reference books that you can, you can also use if ever you wanted to cover the Visayan mythology. So I suggest you search to their website, Aswang Project. This is just a very short video, guys. I'm just here to tell you who Kaptan is, a basic info to be exact, who this mighty god of the Visayan Islands is. So let me know if you want me to do more because I have plans on doing more. Yes. So see you on the next video, guys.